Yo, what is up, Life Squad? Trending back here with another 801 Life vlog for you guys. So, today is going to be a super fun video. I've got my brother Dayton. You're obviously familiar with my channel. You know him if you've been here in a while. Y'all know me. And this is my father. So, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having him in the video. And today, I'd like to do a discussion. I just felt like it would be better to have multiple uh, points of view. A lot of people will be able to give in their input as well. So it's not just one-sided all the way around the whole time. So I just wanted to get started with, I want to talk about, is the C8 Corvette an actual supercar? And the, what I'd like to do is I just want to get into it and talk about it. And I want everyone to give reasons why they say yes, why, you know, just overall, is it yes, no, and why? So uh, Dayton, I'd like to just ask you kind of don't don't give any too too many details, but what is your kind of stance as you're feeling it right now? Um, I mean, here, here's the thing: is I I have a, I have a hot take on this situation, and maybe we could talk about it a little bit later. I guess to keep it kind of just cloudy and secret for a minute, I think if we had to say yes or no, and you had to do one or the other, I would say yes. And there's a lot of reasons, and there's a lot of reasons why I think people might not say it is. But if you have, if you force me to cry, I'd say yes. Okay. So, but I have a lot more to go with that. Yeah, I've, I've got so, a ton. I think I'll just give my opinion as, as we get the conversations going. What's your kind of your initial stance as of right now? I'm saying yes. So you're like, you, you, you like, just say yes. You're a strong yes. Like it yeah, is. I think it's America's supercar. Okay. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to kick this off right now. One of the biggest things that kind of people say, and I, I think a lot of us can kind of talk about it and, and kind of make sense of it. But one of the biggest things people say why it's not a supercar is because it's American made. It's not European and it's not, you know, it's not going to be a foreign brand. So well, uh, kind of what's, okay, what's your so, so, with this so topic? what you're saying is a GT is not a supercar. Ford GT. Right. Well, that's what that's what other people that well, that's where it gets tricky because well, everyone will say a GT is. When you're saying the word supercar, you're not saying exotic car. Right. You're saying a supercar. Yes. And supercar to me basically means it's a lot of money. Right. It's fast. Yes. And it's like the top tier of whatever it is. Yes. The thing is, is here's I'm just gonna go with my hot take right off the beginning. Okay. A supercar does not exist. There is no such thing as a supercar. Yes, there is. No, there yes, is. there is. There is no such thing because supercar is completely preference. There is no, find me a definition of supercar out there at all. Find me one. You'll find 20 different versions of what people think a supercar is. Yes, but there's, uh, there's, there's classes of cars. Like, like, okay, okay, so are you trying to say a Toyota Camry is a supercar then if it wants to be? Uh, no, but the thing is, is there's probably a little guy out there driving around a Toyota Camry right now telling his friends he has a supercar. The point is, is there's no clear cut basis on what a supercar is. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. Nah, this is a horrible no take. You, you horrible did. take. Okay. The, the comments will agree with me. No, I promise horrible take. Will. Okay. I, promise will. I think it is America's version of a supercar. So when you they say have, version of a supercar, are you they keeping it its own? Well, it, it's American made. Uh, a lot of people will classify supercars. Most people probably think in their head that a supercar means European, Ferrari, Lamborghini, something like that. But right. America has provided something that matches them now. Okay. It's a mid-engine. It's 495 horsepower stock with the Z51. It's 505 horsepower. Um, 2.9 seconds, zero to 60. Yeah. I think it's a great car and it competes with cars that are more than double the price. It's, so it's here in America, it gives you a very comparable car to what other people already call, call supercars. And it's already hanging with them and beating some of them. Right. So yeah, I agree with that hundred percent. So supercar, does it, do the numbers come out? Yeah. I think so, and price, much better price. Well, I think another thing that people look about with supercars is luxuries, and I get that this is the most luxurious Corvette that's ever been made, Right. but it's not made with the same stuff that supercars, supercars are made. There are similar components in the Corvette that are in other Chevy cars. 
it's not like everything is unique to the Chevy. Like the drivetrain and all that is the same as other cars within Chevy's lineup. So it's not as unique as an Audi R8 would be, even though I think a Corvette's better than an Audi R8. But like what I mean is it's not completely unique. There's, there's similarities with the rest of its other stuff in its, in its thing, you get what I'm saying? Another thing about like what I would consider supercars is like, how many are there that exist? Is there? Right, yeah. Because if it's mass produced, is it really a supercar? Because if everybody can get their hands on one, I mean, not everyone can afford one, but it's available. Like right now we're having supply chain issues with basically every car. Right. So I think people are talking about markups with the Corvette, make, like thinking that the Corvette is a supercar because, oh, you have to pay a hundred grand for these cars. And that's true. But the markups are true with almost every new car that's coming out right now. Most dealerships yeah, aren't right. even making vehicles in 2022 right now. Yep. Like they put a stop on a lot of things. So it's going to be limited just in general, but like compared to a Lamborghini, Lamborghinis is a much harder car to get a hold of. And I think you got, you kind of got to think of how, how many, it, if it's mass produced, like how one of one is your car? There's, there's going to be a lot like it out there. I no, I, I understand that you're, and, and that actually is a big debate up right now is a lot of people, that's kind of their, that's one of their biggest things is, is mass production of, of the C8 Corvette. Right. And I, I understand that, but the part that still just doesn't add up, at least in my opinion, mm -hmm. is first off, they, they've changed the body style. Mm -hmm. They have mid-engine. Mm -hmm. The performance is just as good, especially mm -hmm. from a takeoff. 100%. Just as good as a super car. Mm -hmm. And it looks just as exotic as a supercar. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, you can make a Lamborghini or a Ferrari look a little bit more mean if you want to, but by no means, I mean, you can add stuff to the Corvette as well. I'm just saying, I, I, it has the exotic look, mm -hmm. it has the performance, mm -hmm. and I, just, I don't understand why the mass production should affect that because it's still, the performance is just as good and it looks just as good. It would be one thing, like that. that's where, I mean, I say there's a lot of people like, okay, so if you're just saying that, performance is good enough they're like so what about the subarus that kick their ass absolutely not because it, they don't look cool they're not and they're not going to cost you up to 100 grand i that's why i still don't think mass production should play a factor in this. that's just my opinion i agree i think so, that part of a supercar is the overall package the look of that car there's only a certain number of cars that have that look that, that falls into kind of see, the exotic this, category this i mean where, you can you can buy an old audi a6 that has a Lamborghini motor in it, minus it's the drivetrain is mounted in the front or the back of the motor, even though it's a front front mounted motor. Right. But it has a Lambo motor in it. It doesn't make the Audi A6 an exotic car. Well, you're, you're, but you're the overall out. look, the overall look, look what they've done to the Corvette, the design, the technology that's gone into it, the technology inside the car mm -hmm. is better than some of the foreign exotic cars right, right. now. I agree. They're outdated. Mm -hmm. That's getting back to my point is, we still can't decide what a supercar is. We're just making it up as we go. No, yeah. no. You, it's, it's evolving you can, though. It, it's slowly evolving. Like if you opened up, if it's evolving, a Lambo no definition of what a supercar is. There's some Lambos like 08s that look sick still today, but the technology in them is outdated. You the the seats in them look great, but the technology in them sucks. It's outdated. It's old. Even Porsches. Some of those that technology sucks. I agree. But you pull up. Everything's evolving. Mm -hmm. And so Corvette has evolved. And is it a supercar? I think it falls in that class, yes. I agree. But here's the thing. If you bought your Corvette for MSRP, would that change your money? No. No? Not at all. But my point is, is like, if we're talking about a money standpoint, name one car, supercar, in 2022 that you can buy, hypothetically, for 67 grand. I mean, it doesn't exist. Like it is far. Shame on them. Well, it that's is, because they just charge too much for them. Know, but it's far. The that's gonna be more reliable too. Yeah, but you gotta realize. But the reason it's more reliable is because it has less unique parts. Here's the thing: is this sounds like I'm arguing against it. The thing is, I think it's a supercar because I don't believe in the definition of a supercar. I think a supercar is basically if it's the best of the best of whatever they make. In my eyes. That's a supercar. Like you said, it's the American version of a supercar. And I think that's where we get confused. Because is an American version of a supercar a supercar? Well, the only reason they're not calling it a real supercar is because it's American made. 
Right, but you think, so do you think, yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't think you should classify an American version compared to European. It should just be supercars and this is the pile mm -hmm. and a Corvette should be part of it. Like, I don't think there's a definition on what makes a supercar. Like, I think a supercar is just a term that people who spend a lot of money on a car decide to use. Let's go with the, the car communities then, because that what when they see a supercar, what they base that off of is performance. I mean, obviously it has to look good. It can't look like garbage going down the road. Foundation of what they judge this off of. Right. Most supercars are low profile, modern design. Um, all the fast, newest uh, technology. And I get that, that, that like the definition like if you look at old heads, a lot of old dudes buy them up, buy the Corvettes because they've been with them since the first generation, second, third. They go up to the C6, C7, and now they're at the C8. So I guess if you look at the evolution of a Corvette, you would devolve it back into a, a muscle car. I can see why people would be like, "It's a Corvette. It was it, it was never a supercar. They they mimicked a supercar. They tried to turn a Corvette into one." Here's the thing is, I think they succeeded, but the argument is that if you, if you look at Corvettes, you wouldn't put them in a supercar. Like it's it's simply the C8 Corvette that we're talking about. And that's what this video yes. is about. Yes, the C8, not, not Corvette. The C8, C8 has Corvette. stepped out of the shadow of what Corvette has been for all those years. That's right. completely, completely different. They completely changed it. And that, that's in fact, they, they, could, they could have called it something else than Corvette mm -hmm. if they wanted to. According to the, to the UK, a supercar is essentially a high performance luxury type of sports car, which to me is you just spot on nail the Corvette. That's what that is. This means their design includes premium car parts. They have more power and more advanced technology, but still classified as street legal. Supercars are rare and harder to handle than sports cars. Right. And they're harder to get, you know, like, yes. So if you want to go to a different country, and see what they might, in their legal terms, consider a supercar. They actually do have a class for this. And yes. the C8 would go into that category. Yes. But I think that the argument kind of lies with where where its beginnings happened. And then we got the dogs barking right now. So sorry about that. Sorry about that, you guys. We got our dogs barking, of course. Dogs are going crazy. It's basically impossible to keep a quiet house. It is. It is. Uh, sorry about that. But anyway, I have a crazy hot take. Okay, let's hear it. And this, I have a, we can talk about this, but I personally don't think a Porsche is a supercar. I don't think a Porsche is a supercar. But the weird thing is I think a Corvette is, so I'm contradicting myself. But my point is, is that's where I'm changing my mind. Where I say, like I, like I said, I don't think a supercar has a definition. I mean, there's some things, like you can't buy a $20,000 $20, car and say it's a supercar. Like there's gotta be certain lines drawn. Oh, yeah, but obviously. Like, my point is, is I would rat I would consider the Corvette more of a supercar than a Porsche. But then there's people out there that are gonna shit on me saying the Porsche is better than the Corvette. Yeah, but that's, but no, that's, that's cause you have a weird take on there's no supercars, which is it's false. There's no such thing there as there is. There's, there no, is. there's no definition of a supercar, therefore it does not exist. You it's, don't need a, a definition, but that's why we're trying to talk about what is. In my opinion, it is. There's some top of the line Porsches that are so amazing. That Insane. Absolutely, yeah. I think, qualify as being a supercar I in guess. there among Porsches. I and then there's Porsches that fall into like luxury sports cars. Yes. Right? They're, not, yep. they're not as. But, that, but my point is, if we're going across the aisle, like there's no Lamborghini that's considered a luxury. Sports car. Like well, that, but that doesn't matter. It's go, I think, we're talking I think about the specific model. But I'm saying that that's the gap of why people would say Corvette isn't. Why is the base Lamborghini Gallardo not a hypercar, but they have a hyper Lamborghini? Be that's the point. It's like the, that's that's the next step. Exactly. So super Corvette cars. went from sports luxury so you think to the, super. So you think the Corvette's going to evolve into a hypercar? No, no. I'm not saying they no, went to a hypercar. But but I'm saying they took the step from sports luxury to, to a high supercar. Super right. That's why I said the Corvette is a supercar. Yes. But what I'm saying here is that people might not allow it. The general public might not allow it to go into the supercar category because it's one thing to start as a supercar with the highest of the line, best of the best. And then make and even take a step further than that. There's some people out there that won't allow something that started so simple, sporty. I disagree actually. I disagree. I actually have good I, I think I could back up with even with some of the viewers. 
is I think your actual Porsche comment is actually backs up the Corvette even more. I agree. Because, because, because this, this, hey, listen to this. Because mm -hmm. first off, they have like a 911 Carrera S. Those are a sports luxury car. Okay. But then they have the 911s and the, like not the, not the Carreras, like the actual, mm -hmm. like the Turbo S mm -hmm. or a 918 Spider. Mm -hmm. Those are supercars. And a lot of viewers, the people that like side with like Lamborghini and Ferrari, but Corvette's not, they will say that those specific models of Porsche are. See, that's what pisses me off. Exactly, me too. And that's what I'm saying. That's right. where they need to bring it in that Corvette is part of that. Step. that make the step from regular Porsche luxury sports car to supercar. Yes. Right. Corvette has made the change from C7. There's a clear, obvious difference. It Even performance is insane. Out of the, the normal cookie cutter view of what a Corvette has been into a whole new era of Corvette. I think the foreign people will allow Porsche because it's foreign. It, well, exactly. And that's where the art, that's where this whole debate is. Right. Is it makes no sense that they're willing to do it only for one reason is because it's European. Mm -hmm. For the one reason. There's no other reason. So viewers outside of the United States, do you consider the Corvette a supercar? My memory on my phone got completely full in the middle of us recording. We had a lot of great takes, but I think regardless, we've still had a good enough information. I'm gonna let you give kind of your closing argument, your closing argument, and then I'll kind of fill us in and we'll come to a conclusion. The video's too long anyway, so let's wrap it. Yeah, here's what I'm saying, okay? Here's an analogy again, right? Basketball, Donovan Mitchell, superstar or all-star? Like, where do you really prove it? Is it championships, blah, blah, blah? There's no clear cut definition, right? And I, I relate that to supercars and sports cars in a way. Like there, is, there really isn't a clear cut. This is what classifies a supercar. This is what doesn't. It goes down to the fine details. It doesn't, you know, it's just, there's no way to definitively say it is a supercar. So in my opinion, you got, you got to go off on what you just personally believe in that, you know what I mean? And for me, the, let, let's all admit, the Corvette is close enough to a supercar that it is a gray area and is up for debate. It's not so far away from supercar that we can't, that like we, we look like idiots saying it's a supercar. Right. It's right there, it's, on, it's like people, some people do, some people don't. I'm on the side of people who do think it is. I don't think there's a clear cut definition of what it is. So in my opinion, the CA Corvette is a supercar. Okay, uh, let's hear your, your final thoughts. Yeah, so in my opinion, I think the CA Corvette has transitioned into the category that you could call it a supercar, yes. The, the modern design, rear engine, all those things have contributed to the change that Corvette has gone through, right? Yes. However, I'm not buying a C8 Corvette to say I own a supercar. No. I'm buying it because the price point is good, the performance is there compared to what else is out there in the same kind of categories. Um, I'm gonna get a heck of a car that I'm gonna enjoy at a much better price. Oh yeah, so, absolutely. Um, I'm not buying it to I think say we I can all agree on that. All right? <laughs> I'm not buying it to say I own a supercar. I'm buying it because I could literally own two, maybe even three of them, depending on which supercar you're actually comparing it to. Yeah, so, easily. Um, yes, I say I say that it has transitioned into that category for those that want to compare numbers. But um, so basically, you think it is, but you don't really care. Yeah, I don't care. You're I'm not it. calling it a right. super. I didn't buy it to call that, it. That's a fair take right there. Right, that's right. Fair. So that's fair. Overall, um, I think I'm still gonna stick with kind of my uh, my personal opinion as far as with your take on the. I get that there is tech, like if you technically Google it. There's a lot of misleading definitions. Like by by definition, if you try and look it up, depends on the person. That's what I'm saying. However, I still think, obviously, I mean, as you guys know, if you look at the supercars that are out there, there's going to be a classification that it needs to hit in order for this to be considered a supercar. And regardless, I still think Corvette, the C8 Corvette, has passed those boundaries and is now a supercar. Jets, man. Nothing it's can go right for us. Tom Cruise. I think he's outside flying this, this by. is a good video. This is a good video. This is one of the ones I enjoyed doing. Yeah. So, in conclusion, regardless of where we all stand, all three of us came to the one conclusion and one final answer of the C8. <laughs> Tom Cruise! Yeah. Stop! Stop. <laughs> My God. Seriously. C8. 
Supercar. C8 is a supercar. Yes. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Just like that, this video is over and we're out.